morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a busy morning. We moved out of yet another accommodation, but only Adam was here to help me. So a six hour job was only, what, an hour and a half? Oh, yeah, it went pretty quick. It went really fast. So we're actually flying out of Phoenix in the morning at 6 a.m. So we're taking majority of our stuff to a U-Haul storage unit. Uh, and eliminating majority of all of that riffraff and then jumping on a plane 6 a.m anyways we'll check in with you guys in a little while Four luggage bags did not make it. No luggage, so we're gonna be on day number two and a half in this outfit. So we just got back from doing a quick grocery shop. Anytime there's a race or an event in South America, I know we're in Mexico, we're not in South America, the team or like majority of the teams usually get, I don't know, some kind of stomach bug or flu or they always get sick and they claim it to be the food. So we took precautions. We bought, we're gonna be living off canned tuna, seven cans of tuna, canned carrots, got some canned beans. We did get greens, still need greens. Some salted meat, can't get sick from salted meat. So I just opened this can up. I thought it was like sweet beans. You know those like beans you used to, your mom would give you when you were little and they were like soaked in sugar? I thought that's what these were. Mm -mm. You guys tell me what they are. They're spicy. What you are about to see might make your skin crawl. I know if I was watching this, mine definitely would. But the trick to what I'm about to do is using an old coffee filter in your drain. So the idea is to catch all of the dirt so you don't have to call a plumber. Don't do that to a hotel. Don't do that to anyone's plumbing. But this is reality. Anytime I can find a mirror that hits the ground so I can do my makeup while I sit is a good morning. So it's actually the first race for me of the year and I am a little bit nervous. I went to bed last night with a really sore throat and it's probably been five months since the last time I was sick, but the timing of it, um, I mean we tried, to, Adam and I tried to avoid because he came here with a, a sore throat and a sickness. And that's the hard part with being in a relationship. You're on two different schedules and you're two different you know, parts of the world for the majority of the time. And then when you come together, you try your hardest to not get, um, if, if one or the other has anything, you try not to pass it on. And we've tried so hard, but I'm not so nervous yet. Um, I was going through a whole bunch of my old you know, journaling and notes on my, on, my, um, on my phone this morning and just kind of getting back into the mindset. But, um, I think once we start to put stuff in the car and then head to the venue, then the butterflies start to come. But um, the nice thing is that I have been doing this for so long, so I'm able to control when I turn it on, when I turn it off. And um, wasting energy, you know, at 8 in the morning when you race at 1 o'clock isn't worth it. So that's kind of a, a strength a skill that I've learned and it's taken like 10 years to figure that out. So, you know, once we get to the venue, then, then I turn it on and the mindset's ready to go. So... Just finish up in the morning, get some breakfast, and then head to the venue. So I am now at the event. I am pretty much ready to go. I just have to put some ice in my pantyhose because it is hot outside. It actually says it's only going to be 28, but I'm thinking it's more like 30 already, and it's only 11.30. Uh, so we raced it an hour and a half, and they bumped it up from five laps to six laps, which is gonna make the race pretty long, I think. Um, but that's a good thing, because it's hot and we're at altitude, so it will, I think, be in my favor. Plus being sick, eh, I don't know. I should get going, and yeah, pantyhose, ice, it's 
the trick to staying cold out there or keeping your cool core. Your core cool. There we go. Okay, ciao guys. Okay, my bike is ready now to go pre-ride. We only have an hour on track, so it's quite quick. It's really hot out here. It's, I think, 34 or 35 degrees already. Um, it's really dusty and bumpy, so I'm gonna go try to make the most of my time. Hey, Kate. I'm gonna get a pre-lap pretty easy. I mean, it is at altitude 6,800 feet, so it's gonna be pretty tough to keep my heart rate down. So just gonna go with it, go do an easy-ish lap and then a bit of a harder lap. Um, and I will take you guys with me so you can see what kind of tracks are here in Mexico. Like I have like a like a cattail stuck in it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm checking in. I'm gonna make this quick because I am watching a supercross and Roxon just won his um, heat too. So Gonna make this quick, or sort of quick, and then um, and then go watch the mains. But my arms are so tired, so I'm gonna set you guys down and talk about the race. So um, I have a really really sore throat, and uh, despite you know the altitude and the bit of dust or the lot of dust, um, I think my body held up pretty good. Um, so I did get sick last night. I felt it coming in, and then this morning it was like full dragon and now it's like purple throat um, which is very very painful even to swallow so um, you know I, I, I did make a mistake on the start I did uh, miss my pedal and I have you know switched to Crank Brothers and um, I guess just haven't got enough time or, or, or fully adapted to the pedal and um, so I didn't mess that up and in the first 200 well the 200 meters after the start it was pretty much down to single track all the way up you know, almost a full lap. Um, so I, I lost a lot of time there and um, just spent majority of the race trying to catch up and, and pass people. And um, I mean, I'm happy with sixth place only because it's such, you know, UCI depth, like there's so many points. Um, so I think I got 90 points, which moves me up from eighth in the UCI overall to fifth, I believe. Um, and then tomorrow we get to do it all over again. I'm, I'm not looking forward to, um, seeing how sore my throat's gonna be in the morning, but um, Adam's, you know, his went from his throat to a really bad head cold and sinus cold, and um, I do have like heavy ear, like my kind of ears kind of feel a little bit wonky, so hopefully it doesn't get too bad. And then we have sea otter in a few days. So um, yeah, I mean, sixth place wasn't the end of the world. <clears throat> the rough, you know, the rough track was like, oh, <coughs> oh it hurts so bad. The worst is sneezing. That like makes me cringe because it hurts so bad. Um, but yeah, the, the downhills were like as hard as the climbs because they're this lava rock or whatever this rock is here and it's, they're spaced, it, it's solid rock, but it's just like a jarring, aggressive descent. So you get to the bottom of the lap and you're just as like fatigued as you were just climbing the whole lap. It was about 150 meters, which actually wasn't, it felt like a lot more climbing. I'm going to use it back up to our room. I have a lot of work to do and I still want to catch the main in Supercross tonight. Go Roxon. I'm rooting for him. I'm such a Roxon fan. So thanks for tuning in today and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys up all day tomorrow. ambitious. I knew that my throat was bad, but I started the race anyways, thinking I could get some UCI points. But as soon as the race started, I, I, yeah, as soon as my heart rate went up, my head just like felt like I was underwater. My ears hurt. My right ear hurts. My left lymph nodes in my chin are like poking out of my skin and my throat is purple. So as soon as the gun went off yesterday, I just like 
I was like, get me out of here. Like, as soon as my heart rate went up, I just, I like couldn't breathe and it was just, it was a gong show. So we slept from like yesterday afternoon until this morning and now we're boarding a plane to Houston and then gonna go to Phoenix and then board to uh, Sea Otter tomorrow. We'll start over again. Hopefully I'm better by tomorrow though. like that we are back in Phoenix already that week flew for us I am yet again tired it is 10 30 p.m. not 4 30 a.m. at least but if you guys liked this give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel and subscribe I'm not sure if I'm gonna be posting videos on Tuesdays or Thursdays let me know what you guys think and definitely want a week but yeah thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video Ciao.